Google's YouTube been accused of uh, of promoting this. The recommender algorithms of YouTube have been accused of promoting conspiracy theories and misinformation. And the algorithm, you know, it's blind tinkering. So that's what it's been doing. And it started to understand that it can predict people's behavior better. And they pay more attention to if there might be some misinformation. It doesn't even care if it's misinformation or not. And then in 2019, it really ramped it down. So before, this is out of a locked out account. So it's not even a personalized account. So before it was, let's say, between um, 6 and and 9% misinformation, and then they brought it down, let's just say 5% in 2019. What effect is that? So if we say the average YouTube user, you and me included, watches about 40 minutes of YouTube uh, per day. That was in this day where these statistics are from. And let's say 50% to make it easy, we're very conservative here. We're not accused of very conservative. 50% of the stats I showed you before, 50% come from a recommend algorithm. That means the average YouTube user spends 20 minutes a day consuming things that are dictated by an artificial intelligence. And now let's say 5% of that is conspiracy theory that comes down to one minute a day. Small. But that's 25% of the global population. You know, it's 2 billion people. I mean, there's 1.8 billion Muslims in the world and 2.2 billion Christians and 2 billion, kind of like the same ballpark amount of YouTube users. Now, I don't know if the average Christian spends a minute a day of no, contemplating the, the, the faith, but I know that the same amount of people consumes completely outrageous conspiracy theories uh, about that whatever happened because of an artificial intelligence that just went unchecked for a long time. So that is at the level of a religion of a, you know, the, that, that effect. And so even so the effect itself is very small. Well, 5%, things always go a little bit astray. And, and that also, you can see that a lot. That's a common theme that you see in the possible risks involved in the technology. One very polemic gate, uh, polemic case is the so-called Elsa gate. So Elsa gate are basically child, child cartoon movies or, or, or snippets that actually start very, very harmless. And you see Elsa or, or Daniel Tiger, or whoever you see there, the Smurfs. And then suddenly a few minutes in something really outrageous happens. Violence happens or, or sexual things happen, like stuff for adults. And it might be hilarious for adults if they finally see these cartoon characters do something. But it's difficult also for you know, algorithms to see because this content actually seems like it's done for kids. It's a cartoon. It's about Elsa from Frozen from Disney. So how pervasive is, is, is that effect? You can see that actually the Elsa gate related content, we can see it's about 1%. Now, 1%, again, that's not, that's not a lot, but there are over 35 million weekly viewers on YouTube Kids in 80 different countries. So 35 million by 1%, well, that's 350,000. That's a lot of kids. Now, the biggest soccer stadium I know is in Barcelona, it's like 100 and something thousand, 100,000, if you, you would fill up more than three of these soccer stadiums with children. And having them watch completely inappropriate content. And that happens without anybody trying to do any harm. It's just like a parent having to go to a doctor's appointment and having a phone and giving it in the kid's hand. And it certainly looks like a Daniel Tiger show, or whatever it is, the Smurfs. And then three minutes in, something completely uh, inappropriate happens. And, and we show that to three soccer stadiums full of children every week. Now, what is the effect of the algorithm? Well, the effect of the algorithm, once you go 10 videos, you just follow the breadcrumbs, you follow the algorithm, then it's the autoplay and it plays next and next. I mean, the doctor's appointment can take a little bit longer. So there's the child out there still consuming YouTube kids' child videos, and it increases up to 3.5%. Now, from 1% to 3.5%. So it's more than 3.5% the amount. So what the algorithm adds on to that is that amount of children. So we fill up soccer stadiums with children every week and we have them watch things to, to that amount is here with what's done by the recommend algorithm, right? So that's the probability of you just follow the recommendations of the algorithm. So that's just, that's just a lot. And so it's, the effects are sometimes very little or often very little, but it goes on a huge, on a huge scale. So that's one of the, one of the discussions that we're having.